Hello. Uh, I'd like to do another example of finding the limit to a function using Excel. And this is the function we're going to focus on. This is actually a function from a pre-calculus uh, homework that my grandson Charlie had. f of x is square root of x minus not plus 9 minus 3 over x. And we want to find the limit to that function uh, as x approaches 0. Now let's take a look at what that function will equal. If x is 0, we have the square root of 9, which is 3, minus 3, which is 0, over 0. It's undetermined. It's undefined at 0. All right. So if we're going to do this, we want to see what happens to this function as you get closer and closer to x equals 0. So since 0 is our value we're interested in, let's uh, go from various values of x. These will be our values of x. And this will be our function. OK, so let's just uh, center everything and make it a little bigger. OK, so we're going to start at uh, minus 1. And we're going to go to plus 1 so that we'll encompass 0. And we're going to make our values very, very tiny between each one. So I'm going to go from minus 1 to minus 0.999, all right? Now, again, I, I've established a pattern, minus 1.999. I can copy that down, all right? Let me just do it, all right? And I want to go all the way up to plus 1. It's going to take a while, all right? So I'm getting less and less negative. I'm past 0, and now I'm in the positive range, so I want to get to 1. Now, when you do this pattern, way of doing it. Okay, let me get to 1. You can see my last value is 1. All right. So let me go back to start. All right. Now I want to plug in the function. All right. So press equals. And I want to have my denominator is the square root sqrt of the x value, which is a6 minus plus 9 it was, plus 9, be very careful, all right, and then minus 3, okay, so that's the top, that's the denominator, divided by x, okay, so you see I have the square root of a6, which is the x value, the first x value, plus 9, minus 3 over x, all right? And it has a value at, at that. Now we want to copy it down. Now, when you do a function like this, you can, instead of doing this business, all right, you can just, all right, let me undo what I did. Just double click like that, all right? And you get the function all the way down, all right? Now, Let's take a look at a graph of this function, all right? So let's highlight the x and the y values, and in, we click Insert, and then there's our graph, all right? And <clears throat> it goes from minus 1 to plus 1. You can see at 0, there's a value of 0. If you looked at this carefully, you might see a hole. All right, but there's it's, it's, the values are too close together to see the whole. But there, there's actually a missing point here, all right, at zero because it's undefined. And Excel, whenever you have a, a, an undefined function, it, it calls it zero. That really isn't zero. It's undefined. Undefined means undefined. So we're plotting f of x. Let's put the axes in. So we have f of x as our abscissa, and the x-axis as our ordinate, okay? So, again, let's go down to 1, uh, 0 rather, let's go down to 0 and see if we get an undefined function. Now, I just want to warn you, 
And when you do this way of getting your X arrays, all right, by establishing a power pattern and kind of copying that pattern down, you sometimes, when you reach an interval value, it's not exactly that in, in, that integer value, I should say. All right, so we want to stop at zero. All right. Here's our zero, and it does say division by zero. All right. Now let's look at let's say the limit is equal to the limit is equal to um, the value as you're approaching zero from below. And let's take the average, all right? It looks like it's 0.16671, all right? All right, so equals, I'm going to take the sum of the two values, the value just below plus the value just above and take the average of those two divided by two. So the answer is 0.16667, right? Which is about, is that one third, one sixth? What is that? Yeah, it's one sixth. All right? I put one sixth in, all right? Okay, I don't know uh, why it has that value. Well, it probably is a way. Finding out. Anyway, that's the limit. All right. Okay. So uh, you could put a different function in, but you can see that as I approach zero from either side, I get about 0.166. All right. There it is right there. All right. So that's an easy way to find the limit. All right. You put an array of x values with very small increments so that. You're approaching and getting very close. All right, there are little tricks you can do. I mean, in a way, let me show you another way to do this. All right, if you don't want to go through all this work, and of course you can't get the graph, but let's let's make let's let's pick a value of very slightly less than zero, minus point oh 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 one. And then zero, and then plus point oh 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 one. All right. So now let's evaluate the function at those three points. Equals the square root. Oh, let's q r t of x plus nine. Minus three divided by this. all right. Yeah. All right. Let's copy this down. We should get division by zero, but we do get the, the value. All right. So a very simple way to evaluate a limit. All right. You won't get a graph here. We got a graph, but uh, is to take a value very close to the very slightly lower than the limit, which is zero, a value slightly higher than the limit. Okay, and again, we get one sixth. You wouldn't just by looking at it, you probably could define why that it's one sixth using higher level math, but we're that's beyond the scope of this uh, video. But um, that's an easy way. Uh, to find the limit using Excel, all right? In this way, we just varied x from minus 1 to 0 to plus 1, and we, we looked at the values right before we got to 0 on the low end and right after, all right? And in this, we just, it's a lot less work. We just picked the value slightly less than 0, slightly more than 0. And so that, in a nutshell, is how you find limits using Excel. Very easy. All right, so thank you for your attention, and uh, we'll be back soon, and I hope you find this useful.